Hello everyone. This video focuses on how to start using 3D LiDAR on Go 1. LiDAR model as above. The 3D LiDAR program is located in the figure main nano NX deployment. Its IP address is 192.168.123.15. This is my VM workstation, Ubuntu 18.04 ROS. The robot is powered on and stays standing. First connect to the robot's own Wi-Fi to check the configuration. First to Raspberry Pi and then to NX. Password R123. The IP address the robot gets after connecting to my office Wi-Fi using a Wi-Fi network card is 192.168.6.130. Change both ROS master and ROS IP to the current address. 192.168.6.130 in the Bashirk file. Please note, the instructions in the document is to add these two lines of instructions in the Bashirk file. If you find that the file already contains these two lines of code, they're actually modified to match the actual IP address can be. The computer gets the IP address 192.168.6.204 and then go to modify the Bashirk file of your own computer. The IP address of ROS master is the IP of NX. ROS IP is the IP address of your own computer. The next step is to remote to the NX and go start the LiDAR program. Just go to the Unitree Slam folder and start the following node. Let's check one of the script files of build map. These script files have three parts. Open file path. Update configuration file. Start the build patrol. Release node. Note that we have released several versions of the LiDAR program, including different models of robots and different models of 3D LiDAR. Maybe the file names are different. Some versions are patrol.ws, but most of them are unitary slam. Maybe some versions are without the startup node as shown. But the startup method is the same. You just need to follow these three steps to start the program. The last part of the code my map name is modifiable, which means the name of the map is saved. If not modified, it may cause the code to report an error. The map cannot be saved.
After executing the LiDAR program in one terminal, open a separate terminal and run Revis. I have placed the two Revis configuration files in the home directory of my own computer. You can put them on your own computers with the file path as above. After starting Revis, you can see the coordinate system and the map. Click on the arrow, click and drag in the map to give the robot the command to walk to the target point. If this spot is the spot you want the robot to patrol, then press the X button on the remote control. The terminal will also prompt when the key is saved. Of course, this process can also be controlled by remote control to control the robot. When finished, close both processes directory and the map, and points will be saved automatically. Please make sure the name of the map is the same as the name of the map building task before performing the patrol task. After executing the node, the task is automatically triggered.
During the mission, the robot will automatically avoid obstacles. If the robot cannot avoid obstacles during the process, please check whether the obstacles are too low, or if the surrounding environment is too narrow. It may also cause the robot to fail to avoid obstacles. The SDK folder contains the Unitree Legged SDK associated with this program. If you encounter a situation where you send a command to the robot and the robot doesn't walk, you can run this SDK first to check if the robot will move. About the use of 3D LiDAR is here. So far Unitree has released many models of robots while adapting 3D LiDAR also has many models, which leads to a lot of software adaptation package. The robots are AA1, Oliengo, Go1, B1, 3D LiDAR, Viladine 16, Risolator 16, Rishilios 16, etc. If there are any problems in using it, you can contact me according to these contacts. Please also provide the number of the robot and the model of the LiDAR 